So today is the day of our family party and everyone is here. It's a little cloudy. We're hoping for a little more sun today. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, being around my extended family is still a little bit uncomfortable just because I never like verbally came out to them specifically at all. I came out to my parents before I came here and then I came here. So I've been living my life openly since then, but I like hardly ever see my extended family and we've never talked about it. So I don't know who knows what, whether they know I'm Polly, whether they know I'm bi. I know that we probably should talk about it and I'm sure it'll happen at some point, but it did not happen this trip. The sun keeps peeking out like it wants to be out. It's like right up there. Oh, is that, wait, is that the moon? All right, the light's frosting. <laughs> I don't do cake. You don't do cake? No. Oh, it's chocolate cake. Oh, no. I guess it's just wooden paint. Ow. Don't on camera. <laughs> I don't know actually. <laughs> I was caught off guard. Over that one. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Throw, Kristen. Without looking. Oh. I am not good at cornhole. I've played cornhole like five times my entire life, maybe, at open houses for fun. Oh, stupid left. Nope. <laughs> Ew, that's so gross. Listen, it's hard to do with a camera in your hand. Ooh. Camera me. Okay. Ooh, does that count? Yeah. One of the things we would always do growing up is wrestling. It's just basically just me getting tickled or Kristen getting tickled. Um, just like playing around rough housing. <laughs> It's basically why I hate being tickled, like I can't stand it. Although it's a little easier being older now. No, no. I got you. But it can get very loud. So Jenny got this paddle board. And the water is so calm right now. So I think I'm gonna go, I've never paddle boarded before, so I'm gonna go check it out and see what it's like. What is he doing? That's a good question. So it turns out it's relatively easy to lose your balance if you've never done this before. I totally just fell in the water. But look how peaceful it is. What'd you find, Grant? Uh, this, but it, uh, I already found it, but it only already broke. But it's still cool. Yeah. Hey, Evan, what is your name? My name? This lake was pretty much my entire childhood growing up. I had a friend that lived over there, I had a friend that lived over there, a friend that lived over there. Pretty much every weekend we'd go to the swimming hole tie up with other boats, hang out, see other friends, go tubing, go kneeboarding. I was never very good at skiing, but I skied a couple times. In the winter, the water would freeze over and then we'd clear off an ice rink and play hockey. I'm kind of sad that I don't have the lake. We have the ocean, obviously, but it's not the same. But 
Would you rather little put pirate on boat. Is that a barbell? Step on the wood. Step on the wood. Barbell? Is there one I there? think there, there you go. Do you want to go in, Landon? What I heard is that it was uh, over in front of a house down by Grandma Joe. Katie's, and it was okay. submerged fully for a year in the lake. <gasps> and the people that owned the house had the boat, I guess. They sold the house. The condition of the sale was get rid of that boat. So oh. apparently maybe somebody like dragged it over here and beached it and oh. just left it and took off. But the for sale sign, it says for sale for 800 bucks. Float? I don't know. <laughs> I was walking That's a good question. Really squishy. Oh, wow, yeah. There's two dressers in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, turn it into a bar. This whole island is for sale, actually. Or Tyler, will you grab The boys, yes. This is cool. These just shacks. And there's the houseboat. Pirate. Oh, God. Shoes. Pirate shoes. Three box. This would actually be really cool if you had the money to just fix this entire island up. Dad says it's huge. Oh, it keeps going down that way and that way. What's back there? Oh, yeah. It's a little car. How did we not see that before? Or it's old. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no, it's brand new. Yeah, it's a Ford F-150. Just chilling back here. <laughs> so we'll just buy the property, clear it out, and build on it. From the West Coast. From the West Coast. We spent the rest of the day out on the lake, and then Kristen and I went over to Mom's house. Maxie! <gasps> Max! Hi, puppers. Hi. You remember me even? Hi. Hi, puppy. Hi. The house looks so clean. This is like the cleanest I've ever seen it. Is it heavy? Ooh, the barbecue smells so good. You don't smell it? Are you sick? Are you ill? Oh my. After dinner, Kristen left to go back to her apartment in East Lansing, and then Mom and I just hung out the rest of the night. I had really good talks with both my parents this weekend, actually, about anxiety. It was just really nice because I am bad at opening up. I don't share that often, so it's not really something I've talked about with them that much. I think they've always known it was a thing, obviously, but it was just nice to, like, share with them some of the like things that I had been dealing with that they didn't necessarily know about growing up. So last night I got a bunch of pictures from mom's computer to really this whole trip has been me just wanting to get a bunch of stuff. Look, it's me as a baby. And my mom just sold her house, which means she's going to be moving in with her boyfriend, Dave, in the same neighborhood, although I want her to move to LA. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but I'm trying. So basically I need to start slowly bringing stuff back here from my mom's house because she'll probably just throw it out when she moves. I also grabbed the Saturday Night Fever vinyl. I'm not sure why I didn't take it to California in the first place. And down in here, these are just like a bunch of things that I wrote as a child. And then there's a tent in here too. Because we're gonna go camping twice this year. We're going up to Shaver Lake and then we're going to Big Sur again, which I'm very excited about. But we need extra tents, probably always. So I'm just gonna grab it, stuff it in my carry-on and bring it back with me. Today is my last day home and uh, mom is at work. So I'm spending it back with dad and Jamie and the boys. We're gonna go over to Jamie's mom's house because she's my half sister. We're gonna go over to Jamie's mom's house because she has a pool and it's supposed to be hot as balls today. So we're gonna go swimming again. That's like all we do is go swimming. Okay. Oh, there's a little outdoor bathroom there. <laughs> wow, Evan, you got in fast. <laughs> What's up, boys? And that afternoon I flew back to LA. I wanted to let you guys know that I started a new job. I'm actually working with Chris. It's a new museum that just opened up. It's really cool contemporary art. Um, I just like, I needed to do something additional part time because I hate Ubering and I can't do it anymore. I just can't. So the schedule is like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which means I probably can't do the You Now on Fridays anymore, which means I need to find a new day. I asked some people on Twitter and people said Wednesday, which I'm totally down for, but let me know in the comment if there's a better day. So please bear with me while I adjust my schedule and figure everything out, but don't worry, I'm not going to stop making videos. I just need to figure out the timing 
timing of how I can get everything done. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm back in LA, so there will be more videos with the boys coming up. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye!